Yeah, so Dylan's using Visual Studio here, and uh, we actually have a little bit split right now because some people, like I think it's half and half right now. Half of the programmers are using Visual Studio, and the other half are using Writer. Yeah. Which is a new tool that's like in beta right now for specifically made for Unreal Engine development. Um, because there are a few quirks with how Visual Studio works. Essentially, it's just like Visual Studio is not great for big C++ projects. Um, because it tries to load in so much, like it's pretty bloated. IMHO, um, so like searching for files and finding references and stuff like that is really slow. And also, like Unreal Engine has like their own way of handling like macros for C++, which is also like a rabbit hole itself. And Visual Studio is like very generic, so it tries to handle like all the cases for any way you can do it, which isn't super good um, so there's a plugin that we're using which is called visual assist that tries which, to help out a little bit makes it it goes from basically unusable to i would say quite usable but yeah visual quite assist usable. is uh, unreal without it is a nightmare and i think they know that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have unreal and specific then, settings as well and then rider is like specifically made just for Unreal Engine development. So they've only included like the stuff that you really need for making games in Unreal Engine, which makes the Visual Assist part also a lot faster. So even then. Um, but to be fair, I think the debugger tool for a writer is, is a bit worse. Um, yeah. Usually when I've done stuff, I use writer most of the time and then I run into like a bug. And I'm like, I need to debug this. And then I boot up Visual Studio just because I want to use the debugger there instead. I've so hopefully had, that will get better. In the I actually tried Writer and just dropped it immediately when I found the debugger <laughs> not working. But I think it's in beta. So I think they're making a lot of improvements. Yeah. The debugger wasn't working for me also because you needed to do a little bit of extra setup. So yeah. once I figured that out, I was like, oh, then it then it's more usable. But I just don't like the interface right now. It's. It's, it's I like, just don't want to relearn as you know, can't teach an old it's, dog it's new tricks. It's kinda like Xcode Ugh. interface Ugh. Uh, for the debugger, which I didn't I don't care for like. the Xcode. Um, personally. So